I'm in the studio with Summer Angel. How you doing, Summer? I'm okay. How are you, Zim? I'm great. I am great. You're fabulous as usual. Um, I'd like to ask you, uh, I've been seeing a lot uh, of you starring in movies. Uh, can you elaborate on that a little bit? Oh, starring in movies. Um, well, I play lead actress in most movies that I'm in. Well, yeah, well, most movies I'm in. Um, I have a brand new movie called um, Somewhere in Baltimore that just came out last on Independence, Liberian Independence Day, the 27th. Right. Yeah, we had a big thing at the Marriott, sign and everything. It was wonderful, and I think you guys should go and watch that movie, Somewhere in Baltimore. I also have Ignorance out. That's been out for the past about two and a half to three years now. Right. Um, I played a lead actress in that movie as well. I play a character by the name of Evelyn. She is um, ignorant, <laughs> right? And um, living is hard, as everyone know. That's my very first Jamaican movie, which I did here in Philadelphia, and it went oh, it went it went crazy. It's all over the globe. It has crazy hits on YouTube, on the internet, Google. Every search engine is definitely blowing um, living is hard up. It's it's an extravagant movie, but the thing about that movie is, um, I didn't have the finance to put the movie out. So I went to Afro, Afro Music, which did that movie called um, Imported Bride, mm -hmm. and um, they said they wanted all this money to do the movie, and I had just got laid off my regular job. I was also working a part-time job at the time. I got laid off, and I said, geez, they want all this movie. I should get a camera and do this myself. If they can do it, I can do it, because they're not smarter than I am. Mm -hmm. Went and got a camera, and I got a um, Pro Tool on my... Not Pro Tool, um, oh, Movie Maker actually, mm. on my regular computer. And it was a regular handheld camera because that's what I could afford. I bought the camera and I started filming every scene on my own. And I would use my friends that saw off and that have the time to come and help out. I had most of my friends in the movie and it turned out to be an extravagant movie. It told my life story. It's about me and my son, the way I live and everything and how I became Summer Angel. And I mean, trust me, you have to go on YouTube and check that out or you can also inbox me or I'll send you a DVD signature by me. And um, oh, In God I Trust just came out as well. It's a gospel movie. Oh, wow. um, I play a mentally challenged woman I was a Christian woman but something drastic happened to me and it turned me into a, like a five-year-old child um, I couldn't have a child and there I was at the time of the accident that happened in the movie I got you know pregnant and my husband had to figure out if he's gonna abort the baby or keep it but I can't tell you too much about it because it's like telling a movie but In God I Trust is a very good movie I play a Christian woman and it's totally different from the other stuff I've ever played, because I'm a gosh, I'm doing gospel, and you know I'm a dance hall. I'm, I'm Philly's first lady dance hall music, so therefore it's kind of hard to do a gospel movie. Not hard, but people don't expect. It's really, it's it's really fun. I I don't call it a career. I call it, I just call it um, a hobby. Like what I do when I'm not doing anything else. I like to act. Wow. Yeah. So that's how the movies came along. So what what was the one you most enjoyed so far? The one I most enjoyed was doing my own projects. Like, like I said, living is hard. I love My Girl, that was one of my own projects as well, I, I didn't even talk about that. And I like Tears of My Joy, it's a movie I did with a big time actress called Tonto Dickey. I played her best friend, she's from Nollywood, beautiful woman, and that was a good movie because me and her got to know each other and you know, knowing someone that's in the business and that's doing it for a living, seeing her work is just, it was amazing. Wow. Yeah. That's really powerful, uh, the living this hard, because you did it yourself. I did it myself, and, yeah. And it was, you know, a lot of story that related to you. Yeah, it's about me, story. yeah. So, so that's real powerful, that fact that you did that, 
and you did it yourself and you got it done. Yeah. So I applaud you for that. Thanks. You know, that's, uh, that's great work. Um, how can anyone get uh, any of these movies? Um, you can inbox summerangel28 at gmail.com. I'm also on Facebook. I got several pages on Facebook. Actress Summer Angel, Jollywood Actress Summer Angel, Summer Angel. Uh, so much stuff. Once you put Summer Angel in, you'll see my pages pop up. And you just inbox me and trust me, someone will get to you. Because most of the pages I don't control. Well, I have Wildfire that controls my very first page. And I control, I think, two pages and someone else control another one. So it's just crazy. Also on YouTube, I do answer my Gmail address at least once a month. So you can also get me on um, YouTube. I'm Summer Angel on YouTube. You can put Jamaican actress Summer Angel on YouTube and you can get me. Wow, so you got that many people hitting you up that you only respond once a month. I don't even want to talk about who hit me up. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah, it's really it's really cool like to see people the stuff that people say in my inbox is amazing. Like it, it don't make no sense. Sometimes I have to look in the mirror and say, Are they really talking about me? You know? And this guys it's like, Oh my god, they just love the summer angel thing. I don't understand why. But it, it, it feels good to know people take the time out to talk to me and to try to even get to know me yeah. and know the true person but well they I mean they love you so you know <laughs> I mean what's the what's the craziest thing that someone said oh the craziest thing I would not say it's a guy I think it's on YouTube he called me and I was with my PR person and he recorded the entire conversation it's a pastor from Nollywood he called and said God sent him to call me because when he saw my picture I'm the woman of his dreams and wow. something like if you check it out it's called pass the propose or ask summer angel for hand in marriage or something like that it's really funny but then you say oh my god is this guy for real <laughs> but but it's it's fun and, and one of the most craziest thing is when I was on Facebook I was I never knew I was on Facebook because Wi-Fi had a page for me that's the record label I'm with they had a page for me which I didn't know nothing about. My friends keep saying, why don't you go on Facebook? I went on Facebook and I was like, well, I'm already on Facebook. They won't accept me. And he gave me the password and I started talking to my fans because he would reply for me as if he was me. Wow. And um, guys would ask me to marry them and um, mm, girls will inbox me as well. Wow. I find it very flattering because, you know. Because <laughs> you are female. I am a female, but I mean, I don't have a problems with the girls trying to talk to me. I think it's very sexy. Yeah. And um, anyway, um, people like argue, and I don't know if you saw the post because you always on my page because we go back and forth on each other's page. Mm -hmm. It's a post with two guys arguing, and it was this long stretch. It's on my very first page, and they like, I'm gonna you up, and say, yeah, I know some angel, and this and I'm like, oh my god, are they arguing about who likes me more? Yeah. <laughs> you know? It was. I don't, did you see that? I remember you, oh yeah, that. you wrote a thing under it, like you can't be on the page talking. Yeah, I remember. It that. was crazy, but it's it's cool. But no, oh, sometimes the stuff that they say kind of embarrass me because they just throw their feelings out there and talk about me any way they want to, and they don't have any respect. But I just understand that it's just how they feel, and I can't stop that. You know. I see how you generated a great fan base from that and from your music. Um, Talk, let's talk about your music, um, because I know that um, you're always doing songs, you're always doing... My music, I think the last project I did, not the last, um, I have an album out called um, A Slice of Heaven. Um, it's up for, for sale, you can also download my music. It's called A Slice of Heaven, you can get it on any thick station, um, CD Baby carries it, um, oh god, a whole bunch, of, whole bunch of stores has it on the internet. You can also, if you're even on, I found out, if you're even on um, Instagram, and you know that you make the Instagram videos, yeah. you can choose my song as a video. Like, you'll put Mavado Beanie Man, you can put Summer Angel in, wow. and you can download the songs on your video, because I've done it myself. And it's, it, it was just cool. I was like, wow. I didn't even know what generated that far. I, I just didn't know. But the album is called A Slice of Heaven. I got... I got Major Mackerel, he's a major artist in my country. He's actually a legendary artist, really. Um, he works Sting and he got all these all these songs out. From Jamaica. From Jamaica, he got a mm -hmm. lot of songs. He's like, pretty looks done, man, you're not getting none. Uh -huh. And he's like, me, me, me. <laughs> it's really cool. I got Shano, he's a popular artist in my country as well. I got um, Trey Songs, I did a song with Trey Songs. Yeah. It's very good. I did the remix from um, Can't Help But Wait. Trey songs on there. It's really good. Um, 
There's so many people on there, I can't even remember half the people, but I did do a song with Gina Thompson that didn't make it. Oh, wow. Yeah, Gina Thompson. She's the woman that did the song called, um, The Things You Do yeah. Makes Me Keep Running. Well, she did that song with Puff Daddy and Missy Elliott and the whole nine. Yeah. And it, it's just crazy because that particular song, I wasn't supposed to be on that track. Oh, wow. Um, my BMR Records that's in downtown Philly, they was recording her and, and Shaggy actually was supposed to do that song. Oh, wow. So the guy, her promoter, he's the one that owns the Laugh House. He came and he said, no, you got to call Summer Angel. She's in town and this, that, that. I want her on the track. Shaggy, Shaggy Biz right now. We got to get Summer Angel. So I went down there. Actually, I was, oh, my God, you was with me that day. You talking about Mitch? Okay, oh, so Mr. Rod. So yeah. Rod, wow. Oh, my God, you was with me that day when um, we was doing some something. And, um, yeah, so I jumped on the track. I wrote the song there and then. And it's right now, I think you can listen to it on the Internet. Gina Thompson, Summer Angel. It's called um, Jesus. What is the name of that song? Yeah. We don't even talk no more. Wow. We don't even talk no more. Oh. It's really good. It's really good. Um, check it out. Gina Thompson, Summer Angel. She's a very oh my gosh, she has a wonderful voice. Wonderful woman too. She's very good. And um, as far as songs, I did this last video called "I'm So Sexy." With um, this Chinese woman, she was on the Chinese American Idol. Oh wow! Yeah, she is called "I'm So Sexy." You can watch the video on YouTube and uh, also oh, have how, it up. How, how did you arrange that? You had to go she, to China. No, she came here oh, and wow. she paid me. She called me and said, "Oh, I'll pay you. I know you're busy." And I actually got cut. I was I was on a a motorcycle and I got that. That was one of the worst days in my my career. I swear, I got cut on a motorcycle or burnt. I thought my legs was going to be crazy because I have keloid skin. Anything touch me, my skin just flare up. Yeah. So I can't have, a, I can't be in a fight. I can't get cuts. My man can't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it was just crazy. My car, I, I had my convertible in that in that video. How about the car at the top when it opened up, it couldn't close, and it was about to rain. Oh It was no. it was crazy and. I was crying. I drove to the gas station. I had ink on my car seats. Oh. It was horrible. Oh my God. I can't forget that day. But she did pay me. She took care of everything. And by the grace of God, everything came out perfect. Oh, I still have a scar. Yeah. But the video turned out nice. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it was nice. That's wonderful. So you, you, you know, you, uh, you all around doing, doing big things. Uh, so, like right now, what are you doing? Uh, are you chilling? Uh, I'm you actually... I'm actually chilling now. Um, I have a regular job. Okay. I, I knew people from back then where I used to work as a part-time worker before I got... When I was doing my music, I was all, always have something part-time to do. And I called them back and I said, listen, I need a job. That was after I got robbed. Because yeah. I got robbed and they took everything that I've ever worked for. Wait a minute. Now, was that when you had all your uh, cameras? All my on, cameras got took... Hard and yeah, all my cameras got taken. All my TVs. When I say, Yo, Zim, you you come to my house. I had so many big screens. I had projectors. I collect stuff like that because that's my passion. You yeah. know, I collect stuff as they come out. They took everything, and I and I kind of figure. I think I know who did it. The police give me leads on stuff, but they don't really know. Yeah. But they give leads. But the thing is. Like I think whoever did that is very is a very like wicked person and, yes. and very devilish because I work hard as a single parent that doesn't have a man in my life to help me do things for them to come and take break into my home twice because they did it they came in my house the first Tuesday and then came at the following Tuesday Jeez. because they know every Tuesday night I get free comps and I go out to the and hotels or the casino and stuff and they um so somebody knows your schedule someone that knows my schedule that's why I, I think I know exactly who did it. But I'm not going to pinpoint and call names. You get what I'm saying? Yes. But since when I got robbed, I was so paranoid. I had a PR that was with me every single step I take. His I'm name sure. is Haram. I don't know if you ever met Haram. But he's he was so wonderful. He stood by me the whole time. I stayed with him for a while. When I couldn't afford it. Cause, cause I was in